everyone. Today I'm going to be making a little sleeping dragon. I'm going to put it together using the Wishing Shed Needle Felting Sleeping Dragon Kit. So instead of using green wool for this dragon, I've um, swapped it for this nice little grey colour. And I'm going to start off by measuring the length of pipe cleaner for the body, head and tail. And then you want to start by building up, wrapping little bits of wool around the pipe cleaner as tightly as you can, um, building up the body. So we want the tail end to be really, really thin for now, so we're just using a tiny little bit of wool. Um, and then if you look at the stencil sheet, you want to start building up this section, so a head's this end. So I want to start building up this middle section here for the body. So now we're going to move on and um, keep applying more small sections of wool to build up the body and the head. Um, so I'm just felting around, felting around the nose area and I've actually felted all over the body again. To compact the wall down and you can actually roll the whole thing between the palms of your hands, especially the tail end. And I'm just going to check back with the stencil sheet. So you can see I still need to build up the body a little bit and then the tail needs to be thicker coming onto the body here. So I need to build that up and also the neck just a little bit is a little bit too thin, you see. So I'm going to do that now and this area needs building up as well. So now I've built up the body, um, I've actually felted the base flat a bit more and rubbed it backwards and forwards on, a, on my table on a hard surface just so it really flattens the base so that he can sit nicely. Um, and returning to the side, 
just to check it should be a bit of height here as well if there isn't just add a bit more wool and felt that into place and like on his head I'm just going to add a bit more wool around here to build up the top bit of the head where the horns are going to go Now with the remaining bit of pipe cleaner I'm going to measure for the legs. So these are for the back legs and one, bend it in half, two, so we're going to cover them in wool now using little tiny bits of wool. and wrapping really tightly around the foot end. Right, so I'm going to roll the back legs firmly between the palms of my hands, that's one, and that's two. So you should have two legs sort of fairly, fairly similar. If one's a little thicker, it doesn't matter, um, you can just felt them in a bit more to compact the fibres down, like so. The last piece of pipe cleaner, I'm going to just measure out two pieces for the front legs. And then if you want to, you can bend the very tips over of the where the foot's going to be, just to stop the um, wall poking through. So now we can start attaching our legs to the body. Um, I'm going to bend the back legs to fit in with the leg shape on the stencil sheet. So just bending to create a nice little thigh. And then make sure your dragon's sitting nicely because you don't want the legs to be too high up that they, the feet don't touch the floor. Um, so we're going to attach the back legs now. And we're gonna attach them by, once you've got them in the right place, using the thick needle and going through the thigh into the body of the dragon. And turn him over. Literally felting all the way through and under and through the actual thigh. Being careful of the pipe cleaner. And that should stay quite nicely. Um, what you can do as well, which I've done on this one, is um, I just sewed some cotton through and covered the stitch with a, a bit more wool. I'm going to do the other one. So making sure again that the feet 
are flat and they sit on the floor and position them as best you can by looking from above get them in the same position and then felt into place I'm going to do the same for the front legs so the front legs need to go the shoulder area just where it gets thicker um, onto the body here we're just going to put them and again make sure that they rest on the floor because you don't want them too high up so make sure they rest on the floor and when you've got them in the right position carefully felt into place make the horns now and this is some very soft carded merino. Um, I'm going to make the horns very quite small. Um, here's the stencil sheet so they do need to be quite small. So I'm um, just going to felt it all over. Get the ends. And basically you just need to roll in between your fingers and keep rolling and felting until it really compacts together. So once you've got your um, both the ends are felted quite firmly and to a nice point. I've mixed up here a little bit of PVA glue and water and we're going to dip the ends in so that when they dry the horns will be um, hard. That's it, so just leave that to dry. So while the horns are drying, I've just cut out the wings by following the uh, tracing over the stencil sheet uh, wings onto some felt. And I'm going to anchor, fold them in half and anchor my thread in the fold on the underside with a blanket stitch. I'm going to go back up and then just in the middle of the front legs um, and position them where I want them, so just on the back area and just stitch them on straight through. And using some red thread, I'm going to um, just make two little nostrils. So alternatively, you can just use some red felting wool. I thought it would be quite nice just to stitch these on. So I've just stitched um, a couple of little nostrils on here. You can actually just felt them on with a bit of red um, wool but I decided to sew these ones on. So now the horns are dry I'm going to cut them to length. Take a little bit of the grey wool and using a fine needle you need to anchor it on to the base of the horn and carefully wrap around the base. So, and felt it a bit more. This is definitely the fiddliest bit. I'm going to use my thicker needle now and really felt this wool in. thin one. So 
tucking all the wool in and securing them on like so. And I'm just going to make the eyes now. So that using some black merino again, this is carded. Um, you want to tease it out as thin as you can. So it's sort of like cotton. And then I'm just trim that bit off. Using a fine needle, anchor it on. And it's sort of like a little smile shape you want for the to give the impression of closed eyelids. Trim to length and tuck the ends in. So there's one sleeping eye. Right, so now I'm just going to position my dragon how I want him, so bend his tail around that way and then his head this way so he's sleeping on his paws. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of um, scale detail to his body. So for these little scales, um, these are just little wool nips. They're called wool nips, um, and they come in all different colours. And taking a cocktail stick, you want to just um, use some fabric glue, uh, good quality fabric glue, one that dries clear, and um, just take some little nips and just stick them on. There you have it, little sleeping dragons. I really hope you enjoy this video. Be sure to check back to the Wish and Shed for future demonstrations and needle felting tips. <laughs>